again, everybody. Welcome back to QC Comics with, of course, another action figure unboxing video. Today we got something a little different. We've got Tigra, the Feline Fury. And this is a figure I picked up on a whim. I've got the uh, latest uh, kind of a really bright neon green She-Hulk figure. And I thought this is almost like a neon orange, which I know some people kind of complained about a bit. They did. They wanted a kind of a lighter more to this tone. However, I thought it was going to look pretty cool with that She-Hulk, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Uh, there's not a lot to the packaging here. Here's your information on the back, a little comic book art there, and then that's just kind of the same there on the side. And this is the packaging that's kind of like the new, well, I don't want to say, it's not brand new, but the um, the Star Wars, or not Star Wars, but the, the Spider-Man, the animated series line of figures. It's kind of like that, so it's it's really like... Thick, tough plastic to get through. But it looks great, and because it's so thick, it's not really, I would I would imagine, probably not gonna warp on display. So if you're an inbox collector, that is fantastic news, because you can probably pop that up on the wall and you don't have to worry about it warping all over the place. So I'll just go over the accessories quick here. She just has two alternate hands. She's got some closed fists here, with just a little bit of black paint work there on the top of the knuckles. Not a whole lot going on there, but that is good. If you want to do different poses with her punching, you do have that option. So there is that. And what I really like, and this is the same with the She-Hulk, it comes with an alternate head sculpt. And I think this is going to be the one I'm going to be popping on the figure. Looks really ferocious. It's got just kind of a mean look to it. You got those sharp teeth. Overall, excellent sculpt. The hair looks really good, and it's not, like, super hard. It's It's got a little bit of movement to it, and I like that a lot. So I, I like when Marvel Legends do alternate heads and things, you know, you know not just a couple extra hands. <laughs> so they put a little extra work into it, and I like this a lot. The head sculpt is great. The paint is, yeah, it's all really clean, looks good. Everything from the eyes to the lips, yeah. That's really well done. And then the head sculpt that's on the actual figure, get her out here, is just kind of a nice, calm look, but also, again, really nice sculpt. Just kind of soft features. It's, you know, I mean, it's a figure. I don't want to gush over it too much, but it's a, it's a beautiful sculpt. Yeah, that, that looks nice. That looks, it looks so nice. Like I don't want to, I don't want to insult her. You're, it looks, it looks beautiful. You look great. Love your makeup today. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so looking in here, you get a little bit of grooving in the uh, the sculpt here on the shoulders, but that it just stops there. It's it's just there. So I mean, for photography's purposes, that'll sh I mean hopefully show up a bit. You got some muscle definition sculpted in there. This I feel like due to the packaging. It looked really black, and it's almost like you see a little bit of, like, orange kind of peppering through a bit in a weird way. So I feel like that could have been a more solid black on the top, and then the same with the bottom there, and I imagine probably just all the way around. It, it's a little darker on the backside, but... Uh, and then the tail does move around. Oh, it does come out, too. So that's... I mean, I guess if you're doing a certain pose and you just want to kind of get it out of the way. So there's that. But then there's not a ton of muscle sculpt into the legs or the forearms or anything like that. But there is some good sculpt work in the feet. So, yeah, and then just looking around. Again, this, I feel like, could be a little blacker. I don't mind the really bright orange. I think that's, I think it's actually kind of cool. But I feel like this really could be a, a, just, I don't know if they could do some sort of different, like, kind of matte black or something. But it just it could be a little darker on the stripes, but kind of minor gripes. But overall, yeah, pretty happy with it. She can do the splits out about that far. With the hair, yeah, it's gonna obstruct how far you can turn it. But yeah, it's just gonna pop the head off if I turn it any further. But then the arms go up to probably about a T pose, I imagine. Not even quite. You do have swivel there in the arms, and then, yeah, you just got your basic wrist functions here. So, overall, 
I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm definitely not disappointed. I think it could be better, but we'll set her up and we'll give our final thoughts and grade. So what do we think about Tigra? What's the grade? What are the final thoughts? Well, I think it is a pretty good figure from the Marvel line, the six inch, you know, Marvel Legends, all of that. I think it's comparable to most other figures. Um, the one foot did move pretty well. The other is stuck. I'm going to have to try and hot water it or something. I don't want to break it. I did also forget to pivot her. Um, she does have some pretty good uh, articulation um, from the... Uh, the torso here she can go down pretty far and back a pretty good ways so that is good overall i think for me it's a 7.5 out of 10 i think the colors and the paint could be a little bit better and i think the overall as far as the the sculpt work to the muscle definition i feel like just they could have worked in a little more um in the thighs there in the forearms a bit something it just looks very kind of toy-ish there you just don't get a lot of sculpt work the heads are great i i really can't see them doing any better than this especially for a 20 dollar figure and overall if you're not a fan of the bright orange i can definitely see that i however i think it looks pretty cool so yeah 7.5 for me there's some things that could be better but overall i think it's a pretty darn good figure and i think it's gonna look great like i said next to my she-hulk on the shelf so what do you think did you buy the tiger figure do you like it do you not like it do you think the paint's good or are you not happy with the the necessarily that bright super shade of orange that they did let me know in the comments and uh if you like the video keep an eye out for more we should have some new black series and marvel legend unboxing and reviews coming down the pipeline so keep an eye out Thank you so much for watching. Give me a like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And we'll see you next time.